Happy New Year to everyone! This is Mr. John Paul Buhain, a faculty member from the School of Hospitality Management of Aureliano University, Pasig. So, what are we going to discuss for today? Okay, it will just be a short discussion. I know it's New Year and I'm pretty much sure all of you guys have this uh, New Year's resolution that for the year 2023, you'll be having a healthier um, a lifestyle, healthier eating habits, and so on and so forth. So as we start the year, I would just like to share with you guys some important things on how do we make or how can we make, should I say, this 2023 much healthier. I know, we just came from the celebration, uh, the feasting, we just came from the Christmas break, and then the New Year's Eve, we're in, we ate, <laughs> we ate a lot and i mean a lot and um, and a lot of not just others would say unhealthy food but i would say delicious food Syempre, no? we we really ate a lot of delicious food so the, the question now is um are those things or are the things that we ate uh during the holiday seasons or during the holiday break really unhealthy uh actually i would be one of those people that would say it's not actually unhealthy because um, I would like to share with you guys this things that would probably you no know, would change your mindset when it comes to healthy eating or when it comes to nutritious food because I'm pretty much sure if I'm going to ask you, you no know, I I I, um, I have here some uh, uh, fruits I have here like a green apple and uh a red apple in, in, in at my back so <laughs> from our new year's uh celebration so if i am going to uh, actually ask you know to choose between a green apple an apple or a burger what would you choose let's be honest let's be honest if you're i'm gonna ask you to choose between a burger and an apple which of these two things would you be choosing if you're gonna ask me even if Mm, let me just tell you something, uh, a secret. <laughs> I am actually a registered nutritionist dietitian. I am a consultant. I am a nutrition coach. I'm very physically active. I run, I bike, I go to the gym, I work out. So probably you might think, ah, maybe Sir JP would be choosing the fruits behind me as compared or if I'm going to choose between the fruits and the uh, burger, but truth of the matter is, I'm gonna choose the burger. <laughs> my friends know that uh, burgers are actually my stress reliever. So, are we saying that I am not making the right choices when it comes to uh, healthy eating? The answer is no. Like, I, I'm pretty much sure you've also heard about ah, these are junk foods empty calories. So what are empty calories? Empty calories are those foods wherein, yes, would still be getting nutrients, but mostly will only be getting nutrients coming from fats and sugars. And that's the reason why it's called empty calories because we will not be able to get the other nutrients, essential nutrients that we would be requiring. But let me just say something here. Burgers are not bad at all. Fries, pizza, ice cream, what else? Um, probably uh, chips. I love chips. Milk tea, coffee. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a coffee lover. I have uh, my own special machine at my back. And even maybe alcohol, you might think these are bad and we should not uh, consume it in this new year. But let me say you something. Those things that I've mentioned are not really bad. Okay? You might say, what? They're not bad? Yes they only become bad to our health if we are going to consume it beyond what our nutrient intake or what we actually need per day. I mean, burgers are good. Even lechon. I love lechon. My gosh. Leche flan. I always say, say it. Leche flan is sinfully delicious. Sinfully good. Why? I mean, leche flan, it has all the quote and quote things that are actually quote unquote bad for our health sugar fats right but at the end of the day this becomes 
these things, I mean, become bad if we're going to consume it beyond our limits, beyond what no? nutrition experts or what uh, health experts are actually recommending. I mean, if you're gonna eat fries daily, burgers, chicharron, chips, then that's the time that it becomes bad. Because we are, we will not be able to get the nutrients that we will be needing uh, or that we need on a daily basis. So, the question now is, how do we make sure that for the start of the year, I'm pretty much sure uh, you're excited to have this, uh, what, uh, healthy lifestyle this year, you know? So, how are we going to make healthy food choices now, at the start of the year? So, let me just share to you four concepts. And it would be very easy for you to understand. Remember the word food. So what does food actually means? So I was able to create this acronym. Okay, food stands for first letter F, fast food. The first letter O is obesity or overweight. The third, uh, the second letter O is uh, one plate meal. And the last letter, which is letter D, is diet. So let me just share to you some concepts, some things on how are we going to make sure that um, 2023 will be able, in this year in 2023, we will be able to uh, choose and make the right uh, choices, healthy choices. Let's begin with the first letter of uh, the word food, fast food. So this is actually a controversial issue. So, the, in fact, there have been a lot of debates about it, about um, the health experts and even nutritionists, dietitians like myself. Are fast food bad? You know, for me, who, uh, who, uh, who loves fast food, I would not deny that truth because I love fast food. Again, let me just say something. Fast food becomes bad if you're going to eat it on a daily basis. I mean, we're going back to face-to-face -face classes. And I'm pretty much sure you don't have uh, a long lunch break. Sometimes you'll only have 30 minutes, one hour lunch break. Yes! And what's the easiest thing to buy? What's the easiest food to buy? Fast food. Again, don't get me wrong. Fast foods are not bad. But if you're going to consume it on a daily basis, then that becomes bad. Because these foods are actually what? Rich in fats. And not just regular fat, like such as um, uh, polyunsaturated or what we call the healthy fats. These are very rich sources of saturated fats, which is actually bad for the heart. That can cause cardiovascular diseases, heart problems, such as hypertension and the likes. And it is also rich in salt or sodium. That is also bad for the health if, it's, uh, if there's too much consumption of that. That could lead to hypertension, heart problems, and even kidney problems. So, again, maybe for this year, we should limit the intake of fast food. So, what do we do? So, maybe what you can do, I always promote this, no? Maybe you can do what? Snacking method. What does he mean, snacking method? Okay, okay, fine. I can still eat french fries. I can still eat uh, burgers and spaghetti. No, when I say snacking method, it means that maybe... Instead of you buying your lunch or your dinner or your whatever food in fast food uh, chains or establishments, maybe you can just bring in some snacks, healthy snacks, which next week I'll be teaching you how to do some healthy snacks. Um, as a nutrition professor, I actually, uh, that is actually one of my activities for the last, uh, how many steps? So almost three years. Yeah, of doing online uh, classes. I challenge, I challenge my students to do healthy snacks, even, especially even today. So maybe you can have uh, sandwiches, bento boxes that contain some fruits and vegetables. I'm sure that, oh, vegetables, I don't eat that. Okay, but then again, still, maybe we can do snacking instead of us buying food from the fast food. Just limit it. Limit it. Try to avoid it. But I'm not saying that don't eat it anymore. I mean, it's still good to from time to time to buy or to eat from fast food. But maybe what we can do is limit it. Why do we need to limit this? Limit it. Because again, as I mentioned earlier, these are empty calories. Most of it. Pizza, burger, pastas. So, empty calories. 
Why is it called empty calories? Most of the calories are actually coming from fats. And as if you have if you've had your nutrition classes, especially for my HRM students, you've learned that um, nutrients or the energy should be coming from three macronutrients. What are those? Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. But again, like what I mentioned, it all, uh, most of it are actually coming from fats. That could lead to obesity or overweight. Let me tell you something. There is an increasing rate of Filipinos that are becoming overweight and obese. And obesity and overweight can lead to a lot of problems as you grow old, as you mature, no, as you age, I mean. So what are those? Again, like what I mentioned, heart problems, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, right? Hypertension. This could, uh, eating too much of this. In fact, according to the 10 Kumain Bens, or previously it was called the 10 Nutrition Guidelines for Filipinos, we have to limit or minimize the intake of what? Fatty foods, salty food. Yo, these things, fatty and salty food. Sabi in Tagalog, hinay-hinay, no? bawasan ng pagkain. Ng, uh, and even, I, I forgot to mention, the sweet, the sugary products because these things can lead to obesity and overweight. Next, this is what I've been, I've been promoting every time I've been invited to, to talk in some different TV shows. No? I always talk about what we call the one-plate meal or here in the Philippines, we call it the Pinggang Pinoy. What's the Pinggang Pinoy? In the Pinggang Pinoy, we are recommending every time we're going to eat, in your plate, there must be four things that will be present. What are those? Your fruits and vegetables. Half, half, remember this, half of your plate should be fruits and vegetables. Any kind of fruits, any, any kind of vegetables will do. And then a quarter of that will be your protein. Good. As much as possible, what we're recommending is uh, our what? Lean meat. No, not the fatty part of the meat. Uh, and then maybe you can add some uh, fish or white meat. And then a quarter of that would be your source of grains. In fact, it's very, it's very important for us to uh, consume grains because grains actually uh, contains a lot of fiber that is actually very beneficial to us, especially for the heart. It lowers down the cholesterol, it lowers down the fat, and even some of the glucose, uh, especially for the, from, uh, from the grains. So we have to eat a lot of grains, cereals, rice, the whole wheat, especially the whole wheat grains. So that's what we're recommending as you can see here in the picture, right? The pinggang pinoy. Every time we eat it, the, the, the plate should have the following. What are those? Fruits and vegetables, and then you have your protein source, and then you have your grains. Or in, maybe you are familiar with this, with the three Gs. Your go, and your grow, and your glow food. And lastly, diet. I'd like to change the notion about diet. Diet is not just about losing weight or having that uh, summer body, re uh, summer ready body. Diet means these are the usual food that you consume. So what we're saying is that from our discussion is that ourselves for this 2023, for the year 2023, we have to make sure that we should be having a proper diet. And how do we do that? By following the principles of this one plate meal that I've mentioned. You can check them out. You can research them about it the Pinggang Pinoy, and they will give you ways by which we will be able to correct and have a healthy diet for this year. A healthy diet means what? It should be um, adequate, there should be variety of food, and it should be balanced. And how do we make sure it's balanced? By following the concept of Pinggang Pinoy. That every time we eat, there should be a source of fruits, uh, there should be a veg fruits, vegetables, your protein source, as well as your grains. So remember food? Let's try to avoid fast food. So so that, um, av av avoid fast food. Again, I'm not saying we sh you shouldn't be eating that. Let's just avoid it. All right, from time to time, we can still uh, eat that. But let's try to avoid that. Aside from that, let's try to minimize our intake of what? The salty, the sweet or sugary products, as well as the fatty products so that we will be able to prevent ourselves from becoming overweight and obese 
as well as no how do we do that to make sure that we'll be aping properly do the one plate meal or the pinggang tinoy so that we will be having a healthy diet one more thing just like to add exercise daily we have to be physically active as i always say dieting is not enough we have to be physically active in fact uh, it is recommended by the world health, world health organization that we have to exercise 30 minutes on a daily basis all right so i hope you learned something for today's webinar and i will be seeing you next week as starting next week i'll be sharing to you some cooking tips on how do we uh, or some tips on how do we uh, make sure that our diet is actually good. And as I end, I always say this. If it's nutritious, it must be delicious. Again, Happy New Year. This is Sir JP Buain. See you next week.